Hello, this is Mighty Owl. We're here at the park, and there are so many different shapes around us. Picnic tables, shaped like hexagon, parking signs, shaped like quadrilaterals, the home plate at the baseball field, shaped like a pentagon. The shapes are endless. So we've got loads more to explore. But first, let's review some of the shapes you may be familiar with. 2D, or flat shapes, and 3D, or solid shapes. Let's go over our 2D shapes first. A triangle is a 2D shape with three sides and three angles. A quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. A pentagon has five sides and five angles. And our final 2D shape for now is a hexagon, and it has six sides and six angles. And how about a cube? You know what a cube is? It's not a 2D shape. It's a 3D shape with six faces, uh, the flat parts, 12 edges, and 12 vertices, the angles. Great. Now let's go join some friends that are drawing with chalk on the blackboard. Oh, nice. Sue is practicing drawing triangles. And she wants to know if all the shapes she's drawn so far are indeed triangles. Can we help her? Remember, a triangle has three sides and three angles. So let's check out each of these shapes. Now the blue shape has three sides and three angles. So yeah, it's a triangle. The green shape has three sides. Oh, but only two angles. No, this is not a triangle. The yellow shape has six sides and six angles. That's too many. This is also not a triangle. And the red shape has three sides and three angles. This is most certainly a triangle. Nice work. You can see that sometimes a shape looks close to a triangle, but it's actually not one. That's why it's important to check the number of sides and angles. Hey, there's Eric. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, he's drawing quadrilaterals. And it looks like he needs some help. Let's take a look. Remember, a quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. Let's check each of the shapes. Now, the blue shape has five sides and five angles. So, this is not a quadrilateral. The green shape has four sides and four angles, so this is a quadrilateral. And the yellow shape has four sides and four angles, so it's a quadrilateral also. The red shape has four sides and, um, it doesn't have any angles. Each of the corners are rounded. It, those are not angles. So this is not a quadrilateral. It, sometimes shapes might look similar to a quadrilateral, but don't actually have four sides and four angles. You did a great job checking each shape. Now let's go over and check out what Chen is doing. Chen is drawing pentagons and hexagons. Let's see if we can help figure out which are pentagons and which are hexagons. And if there might not be any mistakes. Whoa, these shapes definitely have many more sides. Let's check them out. Let's count the sides on the red shape. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, huh. there are also five angles. So this is a pentagon. Now let's try the orange shape. There are six sides. Now I'll count the angles. Six angles as well. So this is a hexagon. And the blue shape has five sides and also five angles, so it's a pentagon. And finally, let's look at the green shape. Seven sides. Ooh, this is not a pentagon or a hexagon. Great job. You've really gotten good at counting the sides and angles of a shape to figure out if it's a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, or hexagon. And this is great because Will needs our help. He's been drawing shapes of his own, but he doesn't know how to label them. Let's help Will sort the shapes he's drawn so far. Here's a chart to help. Let's start with the red shape. 
it has three sides and three angles, and that makes it a triangle. Now the blue shape looks like it has four sides, but there are some rounded parts. Well, those aren't angles then, or sides. So this doesn't qualify as any of our shapes, but we can put this shape in the other category. Okay, I also see another shape here with curved parts. Uh, look at the black shape. It has three sides but no angles, so this also belongs in other. And let's look at the green shape. Counting the side, there are six sides, and there are also six angles as well. Uh-huh, it's a hexagon. The orange shape has four sides and four angles, so it's a quadrilateral. And so is the purple shape. You can count four sides and four angles on it too. And we've just got two shapes left. Now check out the yellow one. Count the sides, six sides and six angles. That's right, it's a hexagon, boom. And lastly, the pink shape has five sides and five angles. And that would make it a pentagon. Great job. You've sorted all these 2D shapes by checking out how many sides and how many angles each one has. Hey, while we were sorting, Will went over to play with the outdoor building blocks. These are solid 3D shapes. And that means they have faces, edges, and vertices. Can you find the building blocks shaped like cubes? Remember, a cube has six flat faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Let's illustrate. Look at these building blocks. Since we're looking for flat faces, we know that anything with a curved surface isn't a cube. Remember, a cube is special because each of its faces is shaped like a square. This shape has faces shaped like triangles. And that leaves just two building blocks. It looks like the faces are flat and shaped like squares. So these must be cubes. You can also see that they have six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Great job. These two building blocks are cubes. You did some great work today. Fantastic. You counted sides and angles of 2D shapes to determine if they were triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, or none of those. You were also able to find cubes by looking at the shape of faces on different 3D objects. See you soon, mighty owls, little helpers.